welcome to creative art i am nalima bringing you the best art tutorials on youtube so if you're an art lover do consider subscribing this channel so you don't miss any updates on the recent art forms in today's tutorial i will be showing you how you can make use of these beautiful deco transfer sheets from little birdie each of these sheets contain four beautiful printed designs which can be easily transferred on any type of surface from tin, wood, glass, canvas or even wooden alterables. These sheets cost just Rs 99 but most of the time they are available on discount from 10 to 20% and friends and now you can also purchase them on extra 5% off just by using my code which is NILIMA5 N I L I M A 5. For base, I have so many different wooden alterables. First of all, here we have a beautiful heart frame, which is for just Rs 199. The second one is a wooden chalkboard on which we can write on this black side, and then we have to place it on this wooden piece and on the back side you can also do some decorations i also have this beautiful wooden alterable box which can be used in so many different ways and we can also do the deco transfer on this and next here we have a wooden hanging chalkboard so on the back side you can do some designing part and you can also write welcome here and this is the chalkboard part where you can write anything using chalk or simply write closed or open just according to your preference next here we have is a wooden decorable pencil container and this is the one we are going to decorate this time because i definitely need a beautiful and a right place to keep my palette knives they do deserve a beautiful place and there is one more option that i have is this empty plastic bottle which is a remaining from one of my colors so i have cleaned it and this is how the entire surface is so smooth and it's already white so let's start by decorating and recycling this empty bottle first and then we'll be transferring these beautiful prints on this wooden container the list of all these materials will be mentioned in the description box below so that you can buy them online and get additional 5% off just by using my code which is NILIMA5 N-I-L-I-M-A-5 So let's start the tutorial friends now first of all let's start by opening this pack on the back side of the sheet you will see the step-by-step -step instructions given which you simply have to follow to make this beautiful decor so here we have got these four beautiful prints i think i'm going to use one two three prints for the box and this beautiful one as this is quite large in size i'm going to use this on this bottle so now let's start by cutting and separating these designs okay here i have got my first design so here i have done my cutting part and these are all the beautiful pieces i have got from my cutting so i'm selecting this design and let's place it on bottle first by cutting the top side of the bottle i'm going to remove this top layer and so here we get a smooth base to work on and a very big open inlet so first of all we started by cutting this pattern close to the design and now gently remove the transparent top sheet this is the sheet and then exactly place where you want it to be I'm using two fingers to press the design down make sure there are no air bubbles the bottom part is a little curvy so I did my best to place it equally After removing the transparent sheet, you have to place the design upside down. That means the design should be downwards and you should be able to see this kind of plain paper on the top. Now take some water in a container and then using a sponge, I'm going to wet the white paper. Start by dabbing the paper using water in this way. Make sure you're wetting the entire paper. And then from any of one side start gently removing the paper it is a very very easy process the paper will get removed very easily wow 
the design has come so beautiful and perfect now this is a beautiful print we have got on this simple white container. I'll keep it aside to set. Till that, let's transfer a few images on this wooden container. I have selected these three beautiful floral prints for our wooden box. First of all, I'll start by placing this one. So I'll gently peel off the plastic sheet in this way. And then when you're not sure about the surface, there's a very simple trick that you can just decide it by placing the object and transfer sheet from one side to other now i'll just press it exactly like this okay so the first side is done now let's wet the surface using a dabbing sponge like this Now gently start removing the excess paper from the top in this way. Wow, this is how beautiful it looks. This time I just did it directly on the wooden surface. But now I'm thinking to try just a little bit of gold acrylic color uh, on the wooden surface. So this actually gives a metallic shine which is my absolute favorite. So here I'm using the golden metallic color directly on the wood then we will let it get dry and then let's see how does our next imprint looks on it you can also do white as a base color on the wooden surfaces i'm just giving a light tint of gold all over the surface because i still want the wooden feel to be visible After coloring the base, it looks like this. I love the wooden feel it still has in it. So now I've let it get dry till it is tap dry completely. It just took 20 minutes to get dry completely. So now let's start placing these designs. I'm going to place this beautiful rose design right on the side. And I just took an approximate measurement of it. I'll gently remove all the bubbles and from the top side I do want it to fold because I do want it to get on the surface also I'm going to cut this excess part so that it does not overlap our previous design which we placed right here and now it's ready to dab 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 but before doing that I'm going to place one more design on this two part and for that I have selected this beautiful cycle design and this time I'm going to place this design on both the sides in this way because this is the look it will give from a conical side so let's see how it comes this is the print which perfectly fits so just start by removing the transparent sheet first and then place the design exactly where you want it I'll press it halfway gently very well and then fold it in this way this was so well done now let's start by dabbing the white side using a sponge and then gently start removing the white paper from the top wow the print looks so bright and beautiful okay so this one is done let's do the same for this one also wow the red rose looks so beautiful on gold now after placing these beautiful deco sheets on all the four sides this is how beautiful they all look I absolutely love the finishing so now there's just one last step remaining to do that is to use the decor gloss varnish to secure these beautiful transfer sheets on the surface so pour a little bit of decor varnish and using a flat hair brush gently secure the entire transfer we have made this will also give an excess additional shine and a long lasting our decor you can clearly see how beautiful shine it gives as soon as you start spreading this varnish it just adds life to the entire thing 
So now we will let the varnish get dry completely for at least 24 hours and then this piece is absolutely ready for use. Now after 24 hours our varnish has got dried up completely leaving the deco transfer sheets a beautiful glossy look and finally this is how beautiful all our containers look. I absolutely love this beautiful print of roses with a bird cage and the amazing thing is the birds are out of the cage. I also love these prints I have used on the wooden container box and see how beautiful the cycle print has come out as if the cycle is a single surface but we have placed it on two different surfaces and due to this angle it looks as one so this helps you to rotate and keep this holder in any angle as you want. I also love this beautiful rose on our gold base and the wooden finish makes it look so realistic. I just absolutely love it. This container is a perfect holder for all my palette knives and in this plastic container I'm going to store all my paint brushes. As it is a plastic container we can also place some beautiful flowers in it and use it as a vase. So from now on not only my paintings would look decorative, beautiful and colorful but my workspace which is my desk would look decorative with these containers. I hope friends you did like this video because this was one of the easiest 5 minutes quick DIY I have ever done and I would absolutely love to make use of more and more beautiful deco transfer sheets from Itsy Bitsy. So do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this DIY and if you do like my videos friends please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.